Okay, so we've got the Energica SS9 here. We've removed some of the panels just to make it easier to get into some of the system. We actually didn't have to cut open the harness or anything like that. We just used the same connectors that Energica uses to connect into the battery itself. We used a voltmeter to determine which ones were on and off when you did various things to the bike to determine what they each do. When we turn it on, we'll have the energy come out the fast charge port to go into our prototype inverter system over here. And yeah, we've made a special set of connections that we can flip to get this on. So we go, fast charge is on. Okay, you can hear our inverter has started. We're gonna give that just a second. Oh, it's on? Oh, excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the mains. This way we don't back feed the grid. It's a safety precaution. And there's something called an MPT that does this automatically. It could easily be put into the box, but since we're prototyping here, we didn't bother with it. Okay, so power's out. You won't be able to see anything here. And power out. Now, everything is being powered off of the bike right now. <laughs> so that's all of our lights, uh, the chili that's cooking, uh, the heaters, the water heater, everything. We even have another bike on the other side of the shop that's charging now off of this bike. Yeah. And this is the gist of the system. And then just to show you that everything is in fact powered off of this, I'm going to turn off the DC fast charging portion here. Yeah. And you will see all of the power shut down just from the bike turning off. And here we go. Now I will put the power back up to mains here and try not to hit my head. Okay. And there you have it. Bike That's is, yep. our Energica siphon.